one of them being finding very good tenants. We highly recommend that you screen your tenants before you place them into your new property that you just bought. Um, we recommend a credit check on everyone as well as a criminal background check. Um, we found that a lot of criminals have very good credit. If they're in prison, they aren't really racking up the credit card bills. So we always recommend a credit and background check. But even then, we recommend calling landlords and seeing if they would rent to these tenants again. That's usually a good sign if they say yes, you know, why are you calling me? Because <laughs> they don't want to lose their good tenants. Rentals are obviously not like flips. You're going to hold on to these properties for a while since they're your long-term wealth building strategy. Um, there's going to be ongoing maintenance costs, even if you have good or bad tenants. No one is going to affect the roof but the weather. So if you need a new roof, you need to pay for it. Same with anything else. Plumbing issues happen to everyone in the winter, in the summer, it doesn't matter. So with these small amounts that you're getting each month in your cash flow from your rentals, we don't recommend that you live off of that. We recommend that you save it just for these surprise maintenance costs. Um, property management can help with this. They can hire the contractors if you don't know them, but the point is the work needs to be done and it will be an ongoing process. There's a lot of paperwork that comes with rentals. Um, every tenant needs to have a lease. You need to keep their credit report that you generated and their um, criminal background report. You've got to keep all that on file. And if you have Section 8 any government subsidized tenants where the government helps them out with rent, that paperwork is even more stringent. Um, you can handle it yourself you know, through some practice or you can hire property management once again. But the point is there's a lot more paperwork with rentals as opposed to flips. You buy it, you fix it up, it's gone. But rentals, they need to be managed and managed well. I hope we've given you a lot to think about. We highlighted all the issues that we ourselves have run into over the years with rental properties. So you need to consider these heavily. Or you need to weigh all your options and see if rentals are a good investment decision for you. Um, for more tips, please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and our YouTube channel. Thanks.